And you welcome back. Are a valuable companion. Oh, well, thank you. Welcome back to Borders Gate. Thank you for starting to speak the moment I want to begin. Okay, I haven't been playing for a long time, but I assume there's more stuff to do on this map. Oh, uh, how do we look spell-wise? I think we're filled up? Yeah, okay. Uh, this was the map with the very strong guy with the with the cobalt army and the guys over here that wanted to murder each other. Just looking if my archers still have arrows. Let's see. You have 100 arrows and you have more. Okay. The dread wolves don't drop anything. No damage taken. No substantial damage taken, we can go on. They go into the woods. <clears throat> Just remind me of the situation, where did I want to go? Ah, to the Sea Watcher. Okay. Wanted to go to the Sea Watcher next. And I have to remind myself do I have any fulfilled quests to turn in? Nope. I don't think so. This didn't never turn out, turn up. Okay. Okay, there's like a path across the cliffs. Let's stay north. Directly dead or do I, do I just not see him anymore? Oh, he is directly dead. Next one. Who's dead? Nira, what are you doing in the front? Oh, that's a named one. Not you. Ah. Everyone else. <clears throat> Next up, the Chieftain should be the harder enemy. Okay. Just hit him once. Not hit me once. Hit him once. 
Not with an arrow, with an actual thing. Kali to take four damage, no problem. Okay. Only the lead left. Okay. Here I can return to the group. I'm gonna heal Nira. Kali is gonna heal herself. And Kali. Let's see. Imun is standing right on top of the loot. That's not Imun. Who's that? That's Joe. That's great. Bloodstone ring. What's that? Two handed sword. I need that. Gold, two halberds, gold, gold, silver necklace, gold ring, another gold ring, and we got another Gnose Slasher. My spleen! Alas, my life's blood seeps out. Okay. I need to rest. Six gold and... Six gold. Got lots of gold now. Safe. Rest. And got dread wolves. They weren't that hard, weren't they? Okay, they were hard. Rest. Yeah. Okay, got our spells refilled, which means you will heal yourself, as will Shahira. She will also heal, Ka heal Khalid. And we've got our healing spells left, which means save and rest. That's not race, that's quick save. Okay. Rest. Good. Got our spells back and finally ready to go on. Another flint? Okay, that's not. So that's not named, that's an, a type of enemy. I assumed that was a named one, but just normal enemy. Wait, what's that on the ground? Two hand sword, okay. It just seemed to me that he was heartier than the other ones, so I thought that was another confirmation on him being named and special. Cave bear, no problem. At least until he focuses my main guy, but he does do, did just focus Shahira. No problem. Fix that. Is there a weird ledge in between? Okay, just to add another layer. You know, only this part is left now. Did I leave it out of a reason? No, I just followed the, the edge of the map. Okay.
Greetings, playthings. Thou hast found me when I alone could not. <clears throat> Please, I beg of you to go no further. Break, break, or break, break is here strewn about with the carnage he has wrought. I have tried to reason with him, but it is as if he is possessed by another soul. It was all I could do to flee in the swing of his tremendous blade. Please, unless you wish to witness madness in a once good man, leave him be and pray the spirits leave him good time. Who is this brittle braid she speak of? Before this curse befell him, he was the captain of the guard in Nashville. I am his cousin Larissa. For all the bonds of love and save him from his present agony if there be a way to do so. Let's try that. Break. I pray you left a trail of crumbs to lead us all back again. The others did not, so they have decided to stay. Shall we try and fight the way home together? I propose to you a riddle, the answer to which I once knew but now cannot perceive. Remind me, and we shall all return unto the day. Fail and stay with me in the dark, forgetting whence we came. It has neither mouth nor teeth, yet it eats its food steadily. It has neither village nor home, neither hands nor feet, yet it wanders everywhere. It has neither country nor means, nor office nor pen, yet is ready for fight, always, by day and by night, there is wailing about it. It has no breath, yet it, to all it appears. It eats its food steadily. That's interesting. The war. Let's think about war. It is ready for fight always. No country, no means, no office, no pen. There is wailing about it. It has no breath. Yet to all it appears, it's on no breath. The wind has breath. The insect... It, it has mouth and teeth. No, not teeth, but mouth. Death. Death would also work. By day and by night there's wailing about death, yes. The circus, the moon. A bear. I'm torn between war and death. Let's read it again. It has neither mouth nor teeth, yet it eats its food steadily. Both of them eat their food steadily and have no mouth and no teeth. It has neither village nor home, neither hands nor feet, yet it wanders everywhere. It has neither country nor means nor office nor pen, yet is ready for fight. Always. By day and by night, there is wailing about it. It has no breath, yet to all it appears. Death. The end of night, where the light shines onto my eyes, and I can see clearly once again. What hath I wrought? Tis horrible, horrible. I will welcome the block that must await me at Nashkel. How could I live with what I've done? Please, thou must guide me to the town that I might pay for my crimes. I fear I can keep my senses for only so long, and I must not be allowed to do this again. Too many good people have lost their lives to me. Please. <clears throat> we'll see you safe as we can, though I don't see how killing you will help those that have died. We shall take you to the Temple of Helm in hope in hopes that you may be healed. I fear I can do nothing for those I've wronged, whether I live or die, and I still know not what led me to this. It's like a foul presence in my mind. I can only imagine that I have finally succumbed to battle fatigue. Take my weapon that I might not harm another. Use it if thou wish, though I'd rather it be destroyed. Innocent blood on everything. I'd only just acquired this sword. Such a waste had this has been. Take me to Nashville, I can bear this no longer. Greetings, playthings. Thou hast found me when I alone could not. No, I cannot show my face here after what I've done. Just give me to the guard that I might take my punishment as I should. Do not disgrace me further in front of Helm. Calm yourself, Rage, Malin says. Helm sees all that he wishes and knows much of what you do not. 
It was your hands indeed that did many a foul deed, but it was not your will alone. Intent is vital, and yours was to influence without your knowledge. Justice will be done, but with atonement, not punishment. But my crimes, my family, I don't want to go on. If you are returned to the garrison, yours will be the only willful killing that has occurred, occurred about this matter. It would be a waste of your life, which fractured though it is, can still contribute much. Helm will see you through. As for our intrepid friends here, I shall exceed the rewards offered by Oblek. After all, it was the same task of bringing Brage to justice. The temple is in your depth for the return of its lost son. Brage's life spared 1000 gold. Good on you if you save the day. No experience? I've returned Brage to Nashville, that but was to a the noble deed. Temple of Helm instead of the garrison. Hopefully, he can atone for his deeds and receive the help that he needs. That's all we get here. The other one was a journal entry? No. The other one in chapter 1 entry? Can't be. We are in Nashville here, I think. Where are we? We are there. What? He doesn't know where we are on the world map. Okay. Let's talk to Brage again. I must atone for many crimes. My poor family. Let's talk to Nayla. Ah, intrepid adventurers at our door. Helm guards over all the rams, and his servants are at, our, at your disposal. The vigilant one stands ready to mend thy ailments, and so divert the unyielding gaze of the great guide. For a suitable donation, of course, just to demonstrate our mu mutual goodwill. Do you understand? The vigilant one stands ready to mend thy ailments and so divert the unyielding gaze of the great guide. For a suitable donation, of course, just to demonstrate our mutual goodwill. You understand? Okay, he wants a donation. Ah, oh, okay, that's the healing one. He sells health potions. Ah, for for good price. And he can only if it identifies stuff, which is where's the sword? I ah, uh, he gave it to anyone else. This one, okay. How much does it cost? One hundred. Yeah, let's identify it. We have a Cursed Berserkering Sword. This is a cursed sword which performs perfectly under every test save the heat of battle. Upon entering combat the weirder will immediately go berserk, killing everything within reach until either calming down or falling unconscious. A very powerful sword, but one must decide, decide whether or not it is worth the risk. Even once the battle fury has ended, the sword can only be removed via an exorcism using a remove curse spell. It's a plus three two-handed sword, which I will sell because I can't use two-handed swords. Good to know. The other one that I have here, not worth it, the arrow. I leveled up? When did I level up? I have no idea. Uh, let's buy like five healing potions. We are six people, so six healing potions. Done. Bye. Done. Oh, so it's ten arrows here, okay. okay. Which was it? Shift, double left click? Yes. Okay, so let's see. I am about to level up. Ready to level up. Yeah, level up. Don't get any proficiency. We get one additional level 1 spell and one additional level 2 spell. Four more hit points and three lore. 
much law do we now have? 25 and I have a heroic reputation now. Great. Uh, w. Now the Lardox Minor Drain, but first an Identifier. And on this thing here, Detect Invisibility. Because it might come in handy. I get uh, to see sirens again. So, after giving it some thought, I want to ask you a favor. Certainly, Nira. What do you need? Even though I first ran away because I was scared, I've begun to think I should find a way to reduce the unfortunate side effects of my otherwise awesome spells. And the unfortunate side effect the main feature of Void Magic? Hey. It only seems that way because everyone forgets all the times my untamed magic made my spells more powerful. All anyone remembers is when I accidentally incinerated a classmate. Yeah, you're right. Casting wild magic is like playing a flute by ear. I just kind of picked it up as I went along, doing what felt natural. In magical terms, I can play a pretty mean tune. But when I miss a note, the flute shoots fire at everyone. Also, okay. the flute sometimes turns me into a hamster. Anyway, wild mages tend to keep to themselves for obvious reasons, but I've heard about one nearby. They say he's very old and wise. And you think he can help you? Hey, you're smarter than you look. That's exactly right. Someone who's lived so long with wild magic must be able to teach me a thing or two. Who's this white mage and where can we find him? His name is Adoy, and he was last spotted to the east of Firewine Bridge. Then we look for him there at once. Thanks! You're more than a convenient escape from vicious red wizards. You're a real pal. The world map has been updated. Journal update. Adoy? Didn't get Adoy, get, get, did get Nira. Okay. Nira said her rumors of another white mage, an old man named Adoy. People say he lives somewhere east of the Firewine Bridge. If he has managed to survive to a ripe old age, despite the dangers of using white magic, maybe he will have some useful advice for Nira. Also, I think Nira wants a flute. So, keep the flute in mind, because it doesn't show up anywhere. Okay. Maybe I didn't even understand. Save yourself. So let's see. Save. I don't think I can rest here. Okay. And save. And let's go. You must gather your party before venturing. Where forth. are we? Ah, oh, we are Nashka. We are in the temple Nashka. Wait. Can't go there. Okay. For the glory of all! Baron Gastkill. Hello there, I recognize Jahira in your group, and so you must be the adventurers I was expecting. I'm Baron Gastkill, mayor of Nashkill, I'm happy to welcome you. I'm sorry we have to meet under, under these circumstances. No, main story progress. What exactly is the trouble here? I can't believe you haven't guessed. Have you heard of the iron shortage where Nashka is in the thick of it? Our mines are all but shut down because the workers continually go missing and what all we do get is tainted somehow. I would send in the town guards but we need them to protect our citizens from the bandits that raid our caravans. That only started after the, the mine went dry. But okay, we need you to find out what is wrong in the mines southeast of town. I will do what I can. Thank you, you will be the toast of the town if you can help. Troubles in the regions, uh, rumors and happenings is here. The mayor of Nashke Baron asked for my help. The mine southeast of Nashke. Finding out what is down there is the first step in showing the, uh, showing the effects of the iron shortage, which will be here. Yeah. Not here. Yeah. Okay. Good, let's save and let's go on. 
Ah, let's talk to him again and see what he what else he have to do to say. We need the mines cleared with all possible haste. Go now, bring back some sort of proof when you return. Especially any documents. I cannot give you any reward without proof. Uh, let's talk to an Amnian soldier. Stand away, citizen! Travel lightly, wanderer. The, the woods harbor strange things. Good to know. I want to just go somewhere else. This is a place. Go inside this place. It's a store. That's great. I did directly find this. Welcome store. to my humble establishment. Interest in a little business on the side, friend. A man who swears by his grandmother's that he glimpsed a white roof up in the Cloud Peak ice fields. It was but a short way south. She be easy pickings for a smart sword. I pay you good money for its pelt, so it's a guaranteed sale if you go. Keep it in mind on your travels. Can I interest you with anything here in my humble shop? shop? Yes, what do you have for sale? So I want to get rid of the flail. The mace. Uh, he uh, buys bandit skirts. I want to have them still in my inventory to uh, be ready to, to turn them in for a quest. So I don't I'm not going to sell them here. Just see at what he offers. He offers plate mail, which we could think about. Okay. Also with the cursed berserkering sword. How do you remove curses? I could have it here and sell it as a two-handed sword times uh, plus a three, which might be worth more. But I'll just sell it. Did I sell it or did you only... No, I didn't. I didn't press the sell button. You have too many longbows, man. Next to a long sword, you have next to a short bow and next to a short sword. That's good. The hero needs an extra healing potion. Okay. You can identify stuff, yes? But not arrows. Winter wolf pelts. Nashkala, I found a main merchant eager to buy winter wolf pelts. Okay, and I th I assume that I'll get the same uh, uh, thing for the scalps. That's why I don't sell them. Oh, she had the great sword. Was she who got that? That was a short sword? Okay. Okay, so I assume you want to be in sword mode then. Didn't think about that after getting the sword. So let's break to Terrace. Stand away, and Baron Rasad. Identify yourself. I am German, this is my band of fellow adventurers. I hear that this is a troubled region of late. Allow me to put your, ourselves at your disposal during our stay here. If you're seeking to resolve troubles, welcome. If you're seeking to cause them, kindly take it elsewhere. Things are not good around here. You'll have no trouble from us, I assure you. I should hope not, for your sake and mine. Mine. That was Bardelin. Going to the Nashkel Inn. Let's speak to Terrace. Oh, you haven't seen a man about him. This tall and oh, this wide, have you? That lout. I'm sorry, I can't help you. I have to seek a big man. 